And Aaron, Salinas police are one of them. And at a news conference today, the chief said body cams are a tremendous tool for police and the community. I think this is going to be a tremendous step forward in transparency, accountability, and accuracy. But it is not a silver bullet. It is not a magic tool. It's, it does come with limitations. At a news conference Monday morning, Chief Kelly McMillan said his officers have been testing the body cams for the past several months, and the cameras should be standard equipment in the next few months. The chief said four deadly officer-involved shootings this year put the gear at the top of his wish list. The idea of being reliant on everybody else's videos and not our own. It just seems kind of silly. One of those deadly shootings was caught on a cell phone. It went viral, led to violent protests and calls for changes in police practices. Chief McMillan said the body cam is a tremendous tool. The camera is there to assist not just the officer but the public as well and say, hey, look, this is what happened. The League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, which has called for more transparency and accountability among police, said body cams are long overdue and said every law enforcement agency should use them. Greenfield police are close to rolling them out. Hollister police are testing them. And Monday night, Gonzalez police could get the green light from the city council to test them as well. I hope that it gives us a, a, true, a much truer picture of what actually occurred because the cell phones or the videos or the YouTube videos is usually a point in time. People don't see what happened leading up to that or what happened afterwards. And so people f get their perspective on what they see, 30 second snippet or 25 second snippet. Now it's important to note that when the police department and city hall didn't have the money to fund this test program, the chief went out and saw private donations to fund this test program, eventually securing a $100,000 grant from the Bonnery Peninsula Foundation. And now with the passage of Measure G, that will help the chief secure an additional 120 body camps when this program is fully implemented in the next few months. Aaron, Dan. All right, Felix, thank you. And as Felix mentioned, Greenfield Police will be the first law enforcement agency in Monterey County to fully implement the police body cams. The force is beyond testing them. And beginning tomorrow, the officers will begin wearing the cameras on their uniforms. Chief says the cameras will bring more accountability and transparency to her force. I would expect, as a resident uh, myself, as, as a citizen, um, when an officer's action calls into question, I want to be able to say, hey, uh, you know, can we see what really happened? We're off now. Can't see Greenfield it. police have 10 cameras. They cost $900 each, and it was paid for, all of them were paid for, through a state grant.